Okay, we're about halfway through uh, Breitenfeld at this point. Um, let's try to scan over what we've got. First, uh, what used to be, or well, what still is, Furstenberg's uh, Cav up against the uh, Saxons, commanded by uh, Arnhem. Um, and they just got smashed by, uh, by Thorn, I think. No, Horn. Sorry. Uh, by Horn's unit. Now, Horn's unit pretty much broke against uh, Furstenberg's troops. Uh, both are in bad shape, but uh, Horn had to pull back, and we'll see what's happening there. Um, the Imperial Center's right wing <laughs> is still uh, pretty solid and constantly looking for a chance to move forward. They tried to get charge orders but failed. Meanwhile over on the left wing it's pretty much smashed uh, with the central Swedish units tiring pretty quickly. Um, they're beginning to exchange fire, a few couple of salvo fires uh, doing a lot of damage to the, to the Imperials. And then the left wing uh, Pappenheim's old force now under someone named Leader uh, has completely disintegrated. Uh, the Swedes are totally victorious there, but they've got to reform their units and see if they can do anything. Um, one thing that's kind of cute uh, yeah, we have a little bit of uh, the Cavs sneaking around behind the leftmost Imperial Infantry, and those units are now in Hedgehog Formation. And we get another unit that had the same kind of thing happen over here on the right flank. Um, that's a severe disadvantage, of course, to firing. Uh, and then over here, we have Gustavus trying to save a last unit before it runs off the map. Casualty-wise, we've had a lot of units run off the map. Uh, <laughs> and uh, a lot of death leaders. A lot of Imperial guns gone. All right, uh, hopefully I'll remember to roll for the dust effect. I forgot this time, but then didn't, it, it didn't happen, so I didn't have to worry about it. All right, see you tomorrow.